All right. Now, the, uh, it says here we have re- – I know this is a form letter. I know this wasn't written. This was probably just put out by your computer. It says we have received information indicating you may be required to file an income tax return for the year referenced above. Uh, we cannot locate a Maryland income tax return filed under your name and social security number for the same year. Uh, then it gives three boxes for him to check. And Before he's able to do that, I, the questions I had were the two basic questions. Are there any witnesses with personal first-hand knowledge that Mr. Putnam is a taxpayer, received taxable income, and that an obligation to file a return was was created? And the second question is, is there any admissible evidence to prove that Mr. Putnam is a taxpayer, received taxable income, and that an obligation to file a Maryland tax return was created? Yes, there is evidence that we have in the system, but uh, if you don't believe that he is uh, required to file, all you have to do is um, make a statement basically saying that he's not required to file, and this is, and to prove that, you can just get a statement from the Social Security Administration, a wage and earning statement, if he he is not required to file it. So, uh, why do you think he's not required to file? Well, I'm asking you. Because one, I don't believe that there is any evidence. But you're saying that yeah, to the second question that yes, there's admissible evidence against Mr. Pope. Yes, there is. How do you there know is. that? Because we have income in our system. You have income it. in the that system. Mm-hmm. Our system shows that he had had income for those years. Okay. Well, did, what I'm asking now, about the burden. It, what, what, let me you, will, you will have the burden. What I'm asking is. Is there evidence of taxable income? You're saying that there's there's uh, evidence Correct. of taxable income. Okay, so there's evidence yes. of ta- there's admissible evidence of taxable income. Correct. Okay, now I'll get back to that in a second. Are there any witnesses with personal first-hand knowledge that Mr. Putnam is a taxpayer or had taxable income and that an obligation to file a Maryland tax return was created? Um. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, it, 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 we don't go by witnesses. It, it just uh, we get information from several sources of information, and um, we we just have that. And then we haven't seen any return in the system for him. So all we are required to do is ask him to file, and the burden is on him to prove that he does not have any requirement of filing, either by. It, uh, you know, providing statement from the IRS that, that you know they told him not, not to file because he's exempt from certain things, or from Social Security administration. So you're That's telling you, you're, you're trying to uh, make out that the Social Security administration or the Internal Revenue Service would be making determinations of taxable income under Maryland law. I'm sorry. What was your Correct. name? What was your okay? That you do you, you believe that? Okay. What was your name? I I don't believe that. This is uh, this is. I, I'm just doing my job, sir. This is not well, personal. Uh, okay, but opinion. you could do your job. Which what, what what was your name? Uh, first name is T S I O N. Do you have a badge number? Uh, no, we don't have badge numbers. Oh, so I can just identify you as T S I O N. Uh-huh. My last name is B E K E L E. All right. So, well, like, all right. I- no, I, 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 this, the, you're saying that. All right. So, there, you don't rely on witnesses, but I want to stick, and I still have a couple of questions now on what you believe is admissible evidence. When you say it's admissible, let me ask you: um, Are you an, an expert in the interpretary in the interpretation and application of the Maryland State Evidence Code? No, I'm not an expert. Nobody is around here. Oh, no. That's why. No uh, one. Yeah. So. That's why if you, you have every right to appeal this case, if you don't feel like you uh, are required to file with our office, there is a hearing in appeals office where you can either fax or mail your appeal to and ask. You know, uh, well, yeah, you have to base that on something, and this is what I. This is why we're calling and talking to you because right now what we have is that uh, they, that you don't rely on witnesses, and uh, no one here is an expert. Sir, no one... I have, I have, in, in the system there is, we have income from American. 
correct? Yeah, I think what you have is reported. You have reported income. Yes. What, what, what I'm getting at is that I asked you already if there was admissible evidence of taxable income, not a report of income. Uh, I'm talking about ad- admissible evidence of taxable income. You said yes. I asked you if you were an expert in the Maryland Evidence Code, and you told me no, that no yes. one is an expert around here. So, so by yes. what legal standard or by what expertise do you have to make a legal determination that you have already that I, there is legal not, let me not, finish let me finish that there is legally admit or that there is admissible evidence like you against want to Mr. argue Bonham. no it i'm not asking like to, argue. to argue no no yeah because i'm telling you we have in the system that uh, mr has had income for those years he has every right to appeal in this case he can prove the fact that he's not his income is not taxable but that's that burden would like on him. Okay, I'm not telling you he he is supposed to file or not. We're just asking him. In fact, there are three boxes you can check. If he does not feel like he's required to file, all he has to say is, "I don't believe that I'm required to file based on this." Well, that's what I'm getting at. Uh to sign okay. I, I, I'm but getting you're, you're, I'm not I'm not arguing with you I haven't taken up a contrary position that I'm trying to convince you of I'm just asking you some questions for some clarification you said that there was admissible evidence against Mr. Putnam that there was taxable income now I want to get at what kind of expertise you have to make a legal determination that there's admissible evidence against Mr. Putnam now, if you're not an expert in the interpretation and application, because, I, 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 never, I, comp- I completely uh, get what you're saying, and I told you I am not an expert. I, I don't even know what you consider an expert at this point. Okay, on this so, matter. so what expertise? The- how many? So, what I'm getting at is, are you really in a position to make a competent statement that there's admissible evidence against Mr. P- that he is a taxpayer and had taxable income? Uh, I don't think I should answer that question. You don't think you should answer that? Why? Because no, no, because it it, is, it has nothing to do with uh, uh, knowledge or a qualification here. We have income in our system, and we go by that. If he doesn't believe that he's he's, he's not supposed to file, he's not supposed to file, and that's all he has to say, and then we we go from there. This is not about. Uh, a person's opinion or qualification. Well, you you made it. You made a statement. I, I am trained. I don't. I didn't make any statement. Yes, you I, did. I'm just being you, my well, doctor. you you answered me by saying, and I wrote it down. I wrote this down. Okay, that's you fine. You said yes that there was that there was admissible evidence. We have income in the system. So what I'm getting at is, are you know I, your qualifications? If you're going to say that there's evidence, admissible evidence against Mr. Putnam, don't you believe you should be qualified uh, to make such a statement? Sir, if you're not, wait, sir, let me finish. If you're not qualified, it's, it's, you can just no, tell no, us that. It's really, you, you are saying the same things over and over again. I told you we have information that Mr. has had income. Now, whether it's taxable or not, we don't know. Oh, so you're going to backpedal. It's his, okay. It's his, well, let me write, it's, let me write it's, it's this down. Responsibility. Whether you it's all you want, sir. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. I'm no one's arguing with, uh, argue. no one's arguing with yeah, you. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Because no. you're asking my qualification and what like. That's not arguing. That's um, that's not arguing. It sounds like it. Well, all well, he has to do is... It's more is, of an investigation. We're just trying to get a background on what's going on so that we can uh, properly answer this response, this, these letters that your agency has sent. Did he have income or not? That's not the question. That is the question. That's well, all he has to no. answer. Now, you, I'm, you I'm said, not going to sit here and argue with you about my qualifications. Well, no one's asking you to argue. Yeah, I'm that's just, what you're asking. Did you know the yeah, difference between just asking questions? No, I'm asking questions to investigate what's going on so we can properly respond. I'm not arguing with you. I'm what's not disagreeing. What am I trying to convince you of that you think that I'm arguing with you? I'm asking you a question. Yeah, sir, you, I'm not. I'm not I, 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 I understand. <laughs> Do you believe you're completely this? being gentle about it. You're being gentle about it, but you're trying to make statements. That's no, I'm, gonna, as, I'm uh, asking questions. I'm basing my. Qu- I'm asking you questions based on your what's answer. What's the purpose of this conversation? The purpose of the conversation is, like I said, Mr. P- and I want to respond to these letters, these form letters that your computer spit out and had mailed to him. Now, in order to be able to to uh, properly respond to this, we have to have a little bit of background information. That's why I asked you about evidence but, and witnesses. We, I understand what be, you're trying to say, sir. 
Okay, I, so then I, why, I do don't, why do you think that I'm trying to argue with you when I'm asking you about uh, the, your qualification based on a statement you made that could be used and is being used against Mr. P- now, I would be a moron not to question you or somebody else who made an affirmative mm-hmm. statement that there was admissible evidence against Mr. P- if I didn't investigate and okay. ask some pre- questions, not argue, but ask some questions regarding your competency and credibility, okay, and to make such a distinction. To, uh, okay, there's a okay. difference between... Okay, Let's, okay. let me so, rephrase my, myself. We have information in the system that he has had income, Okay. If he does not believe that income is, income is taxable, then he comes back and tells us it's not taxable because of this reason. Period. There's not no qualification, no personal opinion included in this statement. Well, you see, you you say here in your form letter, okay, we received information indicating you may be required. So someone's made mm-hmm. a determination. Your computer somehow or whoever put the information in, someone... Or something down there in uh-huh. your office already uh-huh. believes that he's a taxpayer. No. no. He is a taxpayer, correct? Uh, isn't he? Uh, well, that's what we're trying to get at. I don't see the evidence. One, you say that there's uh, there's no witnesses that you have to rely on that he's a taxpayer, and sir, ne- sir okay. You don't like to let just, me finish. You just told me. It, because you don't, you you're saying the same exact thing all over again. We do have information that this gentleman has had income. Correct? You're not even answering to me. That's not Is true. That, I already answered. No, no, I, uh, calm down. I already okay, answered. Okay, if you don't want to answer, you... I already I, answered, and I said yes. There's, you have reports of income. What I'm talking about is taxable okay. income. Now, okay, if it, do you believe it's taxable or not? I don't see any evidence, and I don't. And, and, and okay, call, then, then you can answer that by by, by writing. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you, sir. I'm sorry. No you one's asking you to argue. No one is asking you to argue. Well, no one has. Like no one has engaged you in an argument. I think what's happened okay, is. Okay, what are you trying to convince me? What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to convince you of anything at this point. I'm just asking you questions. I don't understand why you're, you know, in fact, I think I do understand why you're getting up so upset. Because you, you, okay, you, tell me why. Why? Because it's frustrating yeah. to you to be making these accusations against Mr. Putnam and then when I'm someone. Not, sir, I don't have any personal opinion or interest on uh, Mr. Putnam filing taxes or not. I'm just do, doing my job. Well, yeah, I know you already, you already backed off that whether it was taxable, we don't know. So, uh, what I would. We don't know. And that, that, no, you, we don't you, know. Said, you said yourself. You said yourself that le- the letter says that you, we, 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 what does the letter say that we believe it, that it's, it says oh, we, we have received, income. we received information indicating that you may be required to file an income tax return. You may be, okay? Right. I'm telling you the same thing. You may be. Nobody's saying you have to. Okay? I yeah. don't think you understand the difference between that you have to and maybe. And if he does not believe he has to, may- maybe not. Then all he has to do is tell us, no, no yes, we, I've had income, or no, I haven't had income, and this is the reason why I don't have to file. And, and we're coming full circle again for like the third time. That's why we're calling. I'm asking you to see what, it, it, basically, um, again, I'm asking you questions if there's witnesses and if there's admissible evidence. If there's not, then I can properly respond to your letter with legal, with factual and you know, factual grounds, a factual basis. This is why Mr. P- Mr. P- doesn't have an obligation because you don't have any witnesses, you don't have any evidence. Then you, okay, but but okay, when you I make told you the evidence I have, the evidence I have for his income is the one that's reported by the for, from his employers. That's the evidence I have. Okay. Would that help you? Well, I think what you've already, what you've said before is whether it's taxable. We don't know. So you. So what I would like you to tell me. Okay, that's. It, it, is there just yes or no? Is there admissible evidence proving... I cannot mis- answer that question. Okay, so... Nobody can answer that question. N- nobody can answer if there's evidence? <laughs> okay, so no, basically... It's, it's up to you. That's, that, that, no, that's uh, what the letter says. It's right, off. Well, I'm trying to help you, sir. Okay, so basically... That's what the letter where, where, says. Where, it's up to you to prove... If that's what the taxpayer... To prove that that's see, there income you go is not again. So, so you can't affirmatively that's say... That's how it works. Okay, so don't interrupt me for a moment here. I think we can end this right now. 
Okay, so what we can do is we can affirmatively state that we spoke to you on this date and time, and you have admitted that there's no witnesses because you don't rely on witnesses, and there's no admissible evidence. I did not say that. I did not say we don't rely on witnesses. Yes, or you did. Anything. I don't you know. Said, I don't, no. You said I, we don't I, rely I on witnesses. Did, did you hear her what say, did that? I say that? Sir, you know what? You know what? I think I'm going to hang up the phone because you're making up stories now. I'm making up stories. No, you, you, and I don't want to be rude because you're a taxpayer, but can I help you any any more than I did already? Well, you, you've you've helped a little bit, but I, I I've got to tell you, I'd like to speak to your supervisor because, because I don't appreciate when I call to my ask. My supervisor. I don't. You can't allow me to finish the sentence, can you? Because you're making statement, you're making up statement that I didn't even say. Yes, you did. I didn't say anything about witnesses. What are you talking about? You, you I can't say it. I heard you. Wait, wait, come on. You, you heard me. So I I, you. Okay, do you want to talk to my to my supervisor? Yeah, I think I'd like to. Sure, hold on one second. 